Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Knowledge Keen, and this is your friend Wasim. Today we are going to see another very interesting concept in React that is virtual DOM versus real DOM. What is DOM? We have seen in a previous video. I would suggest to go into deep into this. You should go see our DOM video. Okay, I have shared some of the links somewhere over here. Okay, as I told you in my previous video, this whole series is going to be quite interesting because. This is based on React, the latest technology in the world right now. What is virtual DOM and what is real DOM? To understand that, okay, we will start with a simple concept of writing the page. Okay, whenever you see any page, any, I'm just giving you a simple example, any page, okay, uh, open Twitter, open YouTube, open Instagram, or any kind of an application or website. There are multiple things that you see on a browser, right? You have your profile page, you have like posts coming in, you have videos coming in, uh, you have like button, comment button, share button, and so many things that are running around, right? So whenever you see this, what thing that comes into pops into your mind? So that is the whole DOM is rendering this. So DOM is a part of browser. So the browser is helping to draw everything, like to draw that picture on the web browser, on the browser, right? So browser helps out the DOM to draw this picture. Browser helps out to draw that or to write that post. Browser helps out to create that like button, to add the number of likes that you see on that. So to write that. But there is a major problem into that. So like you see, you are seeing this page. Okay. Imagine that you are seeing Twitter. You have so many things around, right? So imagine there are thousands of nodes. Okay. Nodes that is small, small parts into your browser that are continuously being rendered okay so now the part comes is rendering into the browser so these are what these are tags this might be like tags or or these might be something else but these are being placed there using some html using some css using some javascript you click the like button you see that the like goes up okay if it was one like you click the like button that will go to two the counter will increase so these all things are happening at the moment okay into your browser now talking about the real dom there is a huge disadvantage into this so imagine this that if you click on the like button so there are like 10 posts right now in, in front of you right as we are imagining twitter we have like 10 different posts in front of you uh, or tweets you can say and each tweet has a like button into it right so whenever you click a like button, the counter goes up, correct? So thousands of users are using it at the same time. But what will happen if you just click that like button and the whole browser is getting re-rendered? You might not see that, okay, with your live eyes, but these things happen into like microseconds and nanoseconds. Still, the whole browser is getting re-rendered. So that is one of the biggest drawback of real DOM. That's the reason React came up with a solution that was called as virtual DOM. Now, what is virtual DOM? We are gonna see short in a short while. But to now, so you are painting these things, okay? So um, coming back to the real DOM, we are painting these small small things on the browser, correct? Now the biggest drawback is that it slows down slows down everything because even if you like, there are ten tweets. You're clicking on one like and all the 10 tweets are getting repainted re or re-rendered onto the browser, which is kind of a bad situation because every uh, like that you hit on a tweet, it repaints. How you can just check that? So let's take another simple example called as uh, we have a list. Okay, There are a couple of things like let's say that we have added some fruits and now what is happening that whenever I'm updating any fruit, the whole ally list is getting repopulated or re-updated which is kind of a bad to check that there are multiple things that you can go through that is like dirty checking is there we have observables and so many other concepts are there to, to handle these things we are not going to go into that complexities but I'm just trying to make you understand that this is a big problem that a small change can just imagine this a small change can ask the browser to reload that thousand nodes which is kind of a bad now as I said, React came with a different solution. So each technology came with a different solution. I just gave you an example of Twitter. 
So Twitter has its own method to handle these things. Now React, that is Facebook, has its own method of doing handling these things. So each individual framework has its own kind of a way to deal with this. We are talking about React, so we'll go into React. React has a virtual DOM which handles this with a different kind of a way. So right now I am just sharing this uh, small image with you. Okay. So what this image does? So what you are seeing on this image? There is a virtual DOM and there is a real DOM. So what happens? Let's say we are again taking a simple example. That is a list. So this list has three allied tags: apple, mango, and pear. So whenever I loaded this list into my browser, it loaded these three lists. So one, two, and three. Three bullet points, three lists. Okay. Now second thing, whenever let's say using some programming, using X Y Z coding, I modified the third fruit that was pear to fig. Now I changed the name from pear to fig. What my real DOM does here on the right hand side, what it does is it updates the whole list. See, I have marked it as a bit red, reddish thing, so that to make you understand whichever color is red, that things are getting re-rendered into your browser. You will got updated as a result. Li all the ma apple, mango, and fig got re-rendered. Apple and mango was already on the browser, so what was the need of rewriting it? Understood. So that was a drawback of real DOM. So what virtual DOM came is now how this thing works. Whenever your React application is loaded into the browser, virtual DOM comes into picture. React what React does it. creates a copy if you see both real dom and virtual doms are same right so what react does is it creates it picks the original dom creates a copy and call it as a virtual dom so virtual dom is nothing but a, a copy let's let's say for now that it's a copy of your original dom okay so now what why we are creating a copy because now the copy that we are creating we are always going to change make changes into that see we are updating now we we did check ul li 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 right we had apple mango and fig so whenever in react we change something we change the uh, last li from pear to fig it just modified the fig into a virtual dom side by side react keeps comparing the virtual dom with your original dom and it just does a simple comparison and sees what are the changes that are there in my virtual dom and what are the changes that are there in my original dom the real dom and whatever changes are there it will only update that particular component or that particular element into your real dom see how it is working now in real dom if you like just using plain old javascript or just by any other means if you just change something it updates the whole uh, it repaints the whole dom structure but now what react is doing it is not repainting the whole thing it is creating a copy from dom it is just modifying that element it again compares it back to the original dom and repaints only the changed element see how smart it is and that's the reason the whole repainting process is diminished we we removed this whole rep uh, repainting process as a result now you feel that our browser is loading a bit faster okay so there is no every time repainting this comes in handy let's take the same example of twitter again or facebook again now as we are talking about react let's talk about facebook so now you have multiple posts if you click on the like button the counter increases right now whenever you click on the like the counter increases the number increases in a virtual dom then it repaints the the same counter into your real dom without repainting the whole page see how smart it is right you can you can see you can feel the excitement i'm i'm talk, getting very excited i can talk about virtual dom and real dom for the whole day but to make this easy okay to make this more uh, exciting this is how it is done now, now we are talking about only one list so what is the uh, reason for this that every time i'm copying the list and putting it back and the dom is getting re-rendered right so think it as is in this way that let's say that we have taken only a list of three things 
we have a list of 100 things and out of this 100 things we updated 10 things okay 10 items out of this 100 items we just updated 10 items so now whenever your virtual dom is comparing with the real dom it will compare all the 10 items at once in with the real dom and it will update all the 10 items in the real DOM at once. And that's the way your whole process is being speedified. Virtual DOM is not faster than real DOM. So there, are, uh, there is a mis misconception that is going on that virtual DOM is faster than real DOM. There is, it's not the case. It's totally different. So the, both the cases are different. Virtual DOM, it's just a, a concept where it will update your DOM instead of repainting the whole thing it will start repainting the parts of your real DOM and that's the, that's the way it is faster okay I hope this whole thing is making sense because react is based on this virtual DOM principle and I have tried to explain this as easy and as simple as possible I hope you got this video you please if you if you understand all the concepts please give us a like and do subscribe and click on that bell icon that is important because we are gonna see so many new concepts in react and that is going to help you to just notify about our upcoming videos. Okay, thank you and keep watching. Knowledge Keen.